Welcome back, everyone. We're going to be building, we're going to be continuing to build this Gundam that we started building last night. This is part two. Uh, if you missed part one, if you missed the beginning and you want to check it out, uh, be sure to either uh, watch the previous uh, stream or go on my YouTube because I posted it on there as well. We'll wait a few minutes for people to enter. few minutes for a few more people to arrive and then I'm going to continue building from where we left off from last night. Playing some music by Cineosis. New Horizon 5, Night Pride Memories. Hope you all dig. So last night, we were able to finish about one page of work, and we got the head in there, the fists, the forearms, the biceps, front of the torso. Back of the torso is going to need some work. Everybody see some areas here where we can connect some different parts. 
And uh, I like how, you know, he's he's got a lot of dynamic possibilities for posing. Uh, you know, his uh, biceps and, uh, and, and fists rotate. And yes, very crystallized, very glaciery. And so we are here. And well, technically we are here. We're going to work on some legs. And we're going to pull up B21, PC8, and C26. So let's see. our B section and you can tell because it says B right here and we're looking for B21 which is right here B21 is going to be the first piece that we're going to cut to begin with the building of the legs and uh, I'm going to be very gentle here. Okay. We have one B21 piece. I'm actually going to cut the uh, B20 piece for now as well. And I'm going to put it off to the side. So I know we're going to need it later for that second leg. So I'll just do that. And if I need to, I can go in there and just kind of like shave the tidbits off here. Um, just a little bit. Okay. Now, we need PC8 and C26. So, I'm going to look for that PC section, which is this right here. And we're looking for it. PC8. So all of these here are PC8 sections. So I'm going to pull one out. And we're gonna also grab C section. And we're looking at C26. And that's this right here, one of these. So yeah. we're cut that right here. Like so. And now, I'm going to grab B21. And, uh, I'm gonna place this here. Like so. And I'm going to place this here. Okay. And uh, we now can connect. Oh. We can connect B20 to B21, like so, and we're good to go. We have maybe the knee and ankle and calf, so that's kind of cool. And we need a B22 as well, 
So I'm gonna grab my B section and I'm gonna look for 22, that's this right here. smaller piece, so I have to be very, very careful. And uh, I realize I should have placed that piece in there before closing it, so now I gotta open it again, which is fine. Okay, and I'm gonna place it right in there. Like so. And now I'm going to close it back up again. And there we have it. Okay. And now we need A2 and A1 parts 3. So I'm gonna come in here. This is my A1. We have our uh, A1 three part, and we have our A2. No, we're gonna cut our A2 parts right now. So A2 is coming out of here, and we're gonna cut these two parts here, right? No, A119. So where is 19? A119 should be here. So let's see. Ah, there we go. And so here, we're going to have to be very gentle. parts that we need to connect to the leg. And so we grab the A1 piece and uh, combine it combine it with the with the A13 with the A119. So we're gonna let's see. This no. like that.
Okay, so I think I finally figured it out. These two pieces go like this. And, uh, it combines here. So, and now, these two parts, and combine those, and uh, actually, I'm going to sand this off a little here. There's a little bit of a, an edge there. Okay. And we're going to combine that onto the other side. Everything. Everything should fit. Oh. Okay. Yep. Everything fits. And there you have it. We're starting to get the um, calf knee area for the leg. Uh, we also need C18. So I'm going to look for the section with the C parts. Here it is. C18. So let's see. Where is it? C18. There we go. Another armor plate for the leg. And I'm gonna do a little bit of shaving on the side here just to get rid of the excess residue. Just a little bit. And a little bit there too. And like, I don't wanna do it too much, but I didn't like the uh, bit that was sticking out. Now, to combine that piece like so. Okay. And here, I'm going to grab C15. And C17. We're also going to build the other leg. We might as well while we're at it. So I'm going to cut here. And 
gonna go in here and grab the uh, PC eight piece. And I also need a C26. Piece to the top there, and this piece is going to sit right there, like so. I think like so, right? Uh, I am butchering this right now. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. This is gonna go right here, right? Ah, uh, okay, let's see. So this piece is in, that piece is in. Okay. And before putting this, we need B22. Because we kind of need to pop that in before closing the B20 pieces. So B22 is going to come out of this. Hey, what's up, Hi Mart? Welcome. We're building a uh, transcend Gundium Glacier. And uh, we got this much done. And we're slowly building the legs. And uh, yeah, little by little, it's coming along. What's up, Robert? So, you know, just building some Gundam. Learning a lot about robot anatomy. And, uh, it's coming along. Is that your, is that your official Twitch name? Or you're on uh, a friend's uh, Twitch? Or is that himart2069? Is that you? I'm going to follow you if that's you. That's cool. <laughs> I, I, this is a lot of fun. I, and I'm learning a lot because I want to build the Buddha robot ideas that I had. So I'm, I'm learning a lot from building Gundams. And I'm learning a lot about robot anatomy, mech anatomy. And uh, it's just a lot of fun for me. But, uh, you know, I take it seriously. It's also research. It's also, you know, a way for... Uh, for me to get inspired about uh, just different possibilities with the humanoid form, with transhumanism, with robots, with mechs, with in this case the mobile suits for Gundam. And uh, again, I'm not a professional, I am learning, I uh, am exploring. This is my fourth Gundam that I've ever built. And uh, if you want to check out uh, the last one that I built, it's on my YouTube. And it's also in the, it, well, I guess it's not on Twitch anymore, but it's definitely on YouTube. Okay, so we just cut this little piece here. 
And I'm probably going to shave a little bit of uh, residue that's on the edge there. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of this is just inspiration for future projects too. Because I'm going to be building my own robots in the future. And uh, this, is, this is like the beginnings of, uh, of just me getting, getting into the flow of building um, just different mechs. Okay, so I believe that I can now close this like that. And we have a piece that rotates. And we're coming along. And so this piece here, that's kind of what this is going to look like soon. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to go to A1 and A2, and I'm going to grab from A1 and A2, I'm going to grab the three parts. So A1, I'm going to grab that. Ah, okay. Yeah. So this is A1. right here I'm gonna have to be very gentle here because these if you cut the wrong piece of plastic in the wrong way like if I decided to cut that blade in half right there that's it the robot's gonna be screwed or the Gundam's gonna be messed up and it's not gonna look good and uh, maybe I can salvage with glue but I would really screw screw myself there so I have to be really gentle when, when I cut these, but, you know, it just requires a little bit of awareness, a little bit of finesse, and, uh, and, you know, hopefully you cut it correctly. <laughs> So now we're going to be cutting these parts here. And for those of you who are wondering, the music is by Cineosis. Um, Night Memories from Horizon 5. And I'm kind of going with like the retro wave, like 80s kind of vibe, just because we're building some Gundam. And uh, I thought it was appropriate. Okay, so now we have to connect these parts. So this is a little confusing. But I think it goes maybe like this and then like that that gets connected here right and oh 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 disconnected no we're good okay okay so we have that and now, I'm going to connect these two parts, and hope I'm doing it right. I think it goes like this, yeah, like that, and we're going to plug it right into the leg, right into the knee, like so. So you gotta be gentle. Last night, 
I ended up squeezing the head onto the torso so hard that the whole Gundam exploded into like 10 pieces. So you gotta be careful. Uh, so I'm not squeezing it that hard anymore. Luckily I found all the pieces. Last night I was having a hard time f finding the uh, blade there, but I ended up finding it. Anyways. We have two calves with knee and ankle. Come along. together all of these parts to make our leg or rather legs we can now jump to this part and so I started to cut these pieces here and we need to continue on so C the part here has a 17 and a 15 that we need to cut bit of that excess plastic right there. I don't know if you guys see that. Just gonna shave it right off. Okay. And we can use this to sand it. Like so. Okay. And now connect these two pieces together right here and I'm gonna come in add this piece and I'm gonna add that piece and we have that which is Much. Now we need A110. Okay, so A110, A1, A1 10. It's one of the clear circular pieces. And uh, we're going to place that here. That's cool. Look at that. It's starting to have a gem-like effect. It's glowing. It's got refractions. I'm really liking that. That's really cool. Okay. And now I need B14 and B13. B sections. B14, B13. Okay. 
thanks, man. I just, you know, little by little, I'm going to get better at this stuff. And uh, my whole plan is I want to, over time, I'm going to be collecting different parts. And I'm going to be gathering, like, different materials. Um, you know, like, leftover stuff, like stickers, holograms, like, pieces. And um, I'm going to recycle all this stuff um, and I'm going to make my own Buddha robots you know I'm going to take apart like a Buddha's head you know and then build out a, like a torso that's mecked out and put the Buddha head in the mech body I'm going to make a whole series of Buddha robots and so this is a part of like the beginning of my journey I guess uh, or maybe not the beginning but um, I'm uh, definitely learning a lot about mech anatomy and robot anatomy and uh you know i'm gonna be building a few models soon so this is all inspiration for that um i'm gonna be doing some custom work in the future so definitely stay tuned for this particular gundam i'm pretty much sticking to the original design which is the transient gundam glacier uh, mobile suit here which looks really dope I really like the purple, and again, I'm, I'm just going to build this one as is. Yeah, moving right along. So, now that we've cut B13 and B14, we're going to connect it to what we just built. So I'm assuming that this goes like right in here, like so. And this is gonna attach. Hmm. Let's see. Did I cut the wrong piece? It's a uh, B13 and B14, right? So. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I was supposed to cut this one here. B14, okay. Cut it right there. And that's the piece that we need. So now I can come in and connect this part to this, like so. There we go. There we go. And it rotates. That's cool. I like it. So now we're going to go and grab the PC section again. I'm going to come in and I'm going to take one of these small PC6 um, pieces. I'm going to cut it. And we're going to attach the PC6 piece to the C21 and C22. And so that's going to be C21, C22. It's going to be these guys. So I'm going to cut from the top. Right in there. I'm going to be like super gentle. That's one piece, and then C22. Huh? And so. From what I understand, I've got to do this. And so, this piece This is going to get It's 
going to get that right there. Like that. And then that. And now we have like a little socket area, which uh, we're gonna we're gonna place right here. There we go, it clicked in. Cool. By the way, thank you for all support, everyone in the chat. Thanks for coming out and hanging out. And uh, I'll try to keep you all inspired, show you some new things. And again, for those of you who are wondering what some of these might look like, and so here's one that I built in the past a couple maybe a couple months ago maybe uh, four months four months ago I built this live here so we built this guy here if you want to see how I built them, look, uh, check out my YouTube. Um, it's the same thing as my Twitch. So look for me on YouTube. And, uh, and I built two others. I built... Rebake version, which is really cool. And I just love the overall design of like his his back and the extra arms. I feel like some inspirations taken from nature, from like the insect world, but just different iterations of what it means to be a humanoid through the mobile suit mech. Um, version or aspect. I'm just super obsessed with these kinds of aesthetics. I built this is like the first one that I built. second one I ever built probably a little bit dusty just because I had to pull them out of the shelf but again just another super cool Gundam uh, the first two I did not build live I did not record it uh, but yeah th this is the uh, second one I ever built And they come, you know, just like these guys. You got to cut out all the pieces, put them all together. You get directions, so on. right along we're gonna continue with this guy and he should be really dope can't wait to see him finished and uh him 2069 aka robert says i love the purple thanks robert yeah i really like that purple too and i just really love how the light shines through it you can really see it like 
when uh, when those reflections hit like those blades, certain angular shaped areas. Love how that white shines on the purple. But yeah. And right along, we now have these two parts here. And uh, let's see, we're gonna grab A1. Actually, that's A2, this is A1 here. And we're gonna look for A15, which is this piece right here. And I'm gonna cut very gently. And there we have it. That's a cool piece. And we're gonna insert this piece into the upper area here. Actually, before we do that, I'm gonna shave off some of the excess plastic on the top of the newly cut piece that we have here. And get a little bit OCD about little extra pieces of plastic that stick out that shouldn't. But now I can come in and I can reconnect it. And, uh, oh, what am I doing wrong? Ah, like this. And, oh, slippery, like that, there we go. And now, I can come in and connect, the, the, basically his thigh to his calf. So that's his knee, that's the thigh, and that's the calf. Yeah, it looks metallic, right? Yeah, this looks really cool. I'm really digging the uh, angular aesthetics on this leg. I like how, you know, you could pose it in different ways and there's a lot of uh, mobility with these. So we're gonna continue with the um, second uh, thigh and uh, grab the um, B13. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut C14. I'm gonna be like careful not to cut the wrong part. I've done that before. Okay. Now I'm going to come in here and cut right here, like so, very gently, even though I'm probably not being gentle at all, but I should be more gentle. Okay. Now, you can combine these two, like so. So I think I put this together wrong. I'm gonna have to take it apart here. But no baby. Oh. Right. 
Okay. There we go. You gotta place that here. Very gently. And then we gotta connect that like that. That's how we do it. Okay? Now I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna cut off that little guy right there. And I'm just gonna like shave off the edge. do the same thing that we did to the other section it looked like this one now we have that looks really cool and now we're gonna attach this guy right here and Come up behind with this guy right here. We also need to cut PC6 right here. PC6 is very small, and this plastic feels softer than the other ones. For some reason, this is like the squishiest plastic of the bunch. So you gotta be extra gentle with it. But there we have it. And we're gonna get C23 and C24. We got C23 and C24 right here. And we're gonna cut it very gently. And uh, this is seemingly tedious, but this is actually very therapeutic. I find this to be extremely pleasurable. And um, this whole process of just cutting these things out, I don't know, I like it. Okay, so now, come on. And, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's not even going in. All right. There we go. Oh, Robert, good night. It's a pleasure to have you. I'll be, I'll be going on live a lot more often now that, uh, I'm done with the semester. And once I get the new computer, I'll be, do, I'll be able to do a lot of uh, different uh, cool things. I got a green screen and uh, a couple other things I'm going to be using. So stay tuned. I'm going to be doing some visuals. I'm going to be doing some uh, music-related stuff, some live painting soon. Um, so, yeah, definitely stay tuned, man. Uh, it was a pleasure to see you. Yeah, these parts are really small. They're really, like if you have like a big thumb like me and you're trying to press these things together, it's really hard. <laughs> awesome, you're coming over? That's that's great, man. Just um, call us, let us know. We'll be here. You know where to find us. That's cool, maybe we'll go out and grab something to eat or something. All right, I'll see you this weekend, man. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna place this here. Great. 
congrats, man, on the new new SUV. Yeah, let's hang out. I didn't get vaccinated yet, but I have to soon, so. But either way, I haven't hung out anyone. You're safe. All right, so we have this part. And we're gonna connect. I'm guessing this to that, like this. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, look at that. Boom, look at that. Love you too, man. Let's hang out. Let's hang out this weekend. Look at those legs. Look at that. That's awesome. So I could probably still shave like a little bit of off of there and things like that. But coming along. Coming along. Alrighty. Now, we're going to be building the waist. What should we do? Should we continue building? Or... Should we call in a night and I come back tomorrow and we finish building this whole thing so we don't rush through? What do you guys think? Should I continue for a little bit longer? Should I work on a waist? You guys think I should, should do the waist? And then, uh, cause I was thinking of maybe leaving a little bit more for another stream for this Gundam build. I guess I'll continue. We'll continue for now. placed this kneecap in there but that's not the right part um the the right kneecap is uh it's actually this part here so we're gonna have to cut that and we're gonna fix little part right there and now they match there you go i knew something felt like a little off okay and this gets not that that is So I have to cut here so that we have the other piece that goes there. So I'm going to do that. And, uh, yeah, we forgot to do that before. Actually, I'm going to shave off the side there first. There's a little bit of excess plastic. I'll just do a quick shave. Probably you only have to do once sometimes. You do one confident swoop at 180 degrees should be good all right i'm gonna come in here and add that shin plate right on the leg looking good
to pop off this piece and flip it. I'm gonna do that off camera because it's gonna be easier. And there we have it. And so the leg needs to connect towards the center of the torso and towards the pelvis. So that's why I have to switch that socket around because I had it rotated 180 and, uh, you know, he would have had a backwards leg. But now we're good. Now he'll connect. And so we're going to move forward and we're going to build the foot. And if you take a look at the directions here, it's kind of what we have to do. If I look at C20 and 25, those are the pieces that I need. 20. And I'll, I'll cut that one out too, because I'm going to have to make a second foot. And now 25, so these two guys here. Okay. And I'm gonna do a bit of shaving there. Just to take out the excess plastic. Like so. And gonna connect these two pieces here okay, let's try that again there we go Now I need C28, C28 is going to be right here, Cut the other piece for the other foot. We're gonna need it. And now we're gonna connect the um, other part of the foot. And there you have it. Now I need eight, one, twenty-three, and D six. So D six is this top part here. Connect that to the top. This is 
gonna this is gonna be like the heel. So maybe this is the wrong side. Maybe I have to cut this one. So I'm putting it right there. Had to do it off camera because it was just really hard to put that piece in there. Okay. So we have it. And now we need A123. This is our A1 section here. And this is A2. Oh. This is A1. This is A123 right here. connect to the leg. Awesome. Look at that. Very cool. Okay. And now we're going to do the same thing. shave off some of this excess plastic on the bottom here. That's good. Putting those two together. Putting the uh, next part here.
Okay. And we're going to be adding this piece here. Just like we did with the other foot. And I'm going to attach this here. Like so. And I'll come in and continue. And we have another foot. Look at that. That's awesome. Two legs, two feet, a torso, some arms, and a leg. That's awesome. So this is where we're at. This is where we will pick up tomorrow. And we're gonna <clears throat> end our stream tonight. But we have this much, and we will pick up from where we left off tomorrow. Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for hanging out, and I will see you all on the next one. Take care.